I'm trying to paint. Today I'm painting Chaos Demons. I'm doing a play bearer of Nurgle in like a icy blue theme. So the paints I'm using will be Fem Rizian Grey, Lothar and Blue, Ulf One Grey, Ushapti Bone, Non Oil, and Iron Breaker. First up, I'm using my Fem Rizian Grey. I'm just doing a nice base coat over the whole thing. Just like cover up that primer, get rid of that. Just, you know, make him a good old Fem Rizian Grey all over. Nice and neat. Water it down. Build up your layers. Don't clog your details. All those sorts of things. Then I'm moving on to Iron Breaker. It's just for his sword. He doesn't have any other metal about him. Then I'm on my Lothran Blue. Now I'm using this for all his wounds and his guts and like any holes or warts or injuries as well as his eyeball. Then I'm onto my Ushapti Bone and I'm just picking out his horns there as well as his little pretty toenails and these sorts of things like that. Oh, and his spine, yeah. His spine is on the outside. I'm sure that, you know, there's a reason, but yeah. Non-oil. This is my wash or my shade, and I'm just going around all the cracks, all the recesses, as this is the main color to like pick these out. It's easier. I'm on my iron breaker here. I was just thinking about um the shade and how I tried to make it super neat this time around and not get it <clears throat> all over all the flat areas. I did all right with that. Um, I was just doing a dry brush there with the iron breaker over the sword just to help pick out the details that we lost in the wash. Then um, then here I'm on the Fenrisian gray, and this is. Again, I'm picking out like all the flat surfaces, just leaving the wash literally in the recesses and the cracks. Now I do the same with the Ushapti bone here, just kneading up those bony colored areas, as well as picking out his teeth. And there was no reason to actually color the teeth before the wash because they're so small that once it's washed, you can just pick them out again with the thingy and it's fine. Lothar and blue, I'm just getting his eyeball here as well as we going over just the top edges of the innards and whatnots. All these unattractive parts. Then I'm on to off one grey. Now I'm using this as like a quite a stark highlight for the Fenrisian grey. It just gives him the colours are it's really um contrasty but it's really um cold at the same time as i'm going for like an icy blue it works and that's it that is the final model just like that all over and it comes out pretty nice i really like this guy just because he's so happy like look at that smile um yeah but you can click below for more of my videos subscribe to my channel for future videos and click the like button because that's important and all those other things which i'm probably forgetting to say and thank you for watching goodbye